Well, it's Tuesday, and it's around 4.40. Um, we got Hurricane Laura heading our direction. Um, the hurricane is going to be coming right over uh, the Louisiana border, which is where we live. We live on, on the southeast Texas side. So it's coming over the southeast Texas and southwest Louisiana. They're saying it's supposed to be a, um, uh, a three, but it could be a four going across. We've already had Rita um, and also uh, Hurricane, Hurricane Harvey that actually um, hit our area. We had, um, uh, just last year, we had a uh, tropical storm that came across and flooded everything. So we've had lots of storms um, throughout our area. Uh, Harvey actually brought uh, over 52 inches to our area so in, in four days. So we're all pretty used to having this happen and it's very uh, tiring because uh, we wasn't gonna go. We were gonna actually uh, stay and hunker down. But at the last minute, I mean, just hearing things about there's supposed to be a, a, a storm surge that's supposed to come and, um, and push water. And we're actually, we're not near Galveston, but we're near Bridge City. So Bridge City is, uh, is actually a hurricane came through Bridge City and and flooded Bridge City about four years ago, I guess. I think maybe maybe a little later, but regardless, uh, we got a body of water there and we got body of water in Beaumont that could uh, possibly reach our area. So we're looking at, you know, we're looking at that and the, and the winds are supposed to be 115 miles per hour and also uh, 150 uh, wind gusts. Meaning just every now and then you'll have a gust of wind about 150 miles an hour. So we're like, no, we're going we're gonna to go. And um, that sadly, what I'm worried about is more, <laughs> more than people looting our homes than the storm itself. That just tells you um, just the state of our, of our country and just really the depravity of man. So, and the one thing that I wanted to just mention, I just wanted to just please, when you hear this, just please pray. Um, we have one daughter. Uh, we're newly, me and my wife, it, we're newly grandparents. So my our, our middle daughter um, has a uh, five-week-old little boy. His name is Hogan. Um, he's our little, he's our new grandbaby. And so please keep them in prayer. They're going up. They went with some friends. Uh, um, actually, I don't even know where what area it is. I think it's on the other side of Dallas where they're going. But uh, and they're in a hotel right now, in between going up, going up there. But they're they're safe right now. So just keep them in prayer. We got our youngest boy. He's 17. Dylan. He's with us right now. Um, he's with my wife in front of me in the car. He's driving. So and then my oldest daughter is 22. Her birthday was yesterday, and she's over in Houston with her mom. So just, uh, her name's Morgan, uh, and my son's name is Dylan, and of course my wife's name is Angela. So just keep us all in prayer uh, in our area. Um, just one thing, it makes you think about your possessions, and also that we can't keep the, our possessions. Our, that shouldn't, my house, you know, we own our home, and I have all my lawn equipment because I own a lawn business. So I have, you know, pretty much my, uh, I'm carrying my trailer right now, but my, all my mowers, I have four units, four zero turn units that I have at the house, plus our home, plus with everything in our home. And, you know, and you really think about your possessions, but whenever we look at eternal, you know, eternal uh, things, none of that really matters our life matters that we're safe you know I thought about it I'm like we could hunker down there and maybe keep you know people from looting our house and all that I'd rather keep my family safe and us be safe and come back and yet yeah, all of it's insured and so we're like we just need to just go be safe come home in two days and see what kind of damage we got and if people broke in and looted our home um, so be it. We'll we'll get it all back, you know. So, but we need to really think about our life. Do, does our life revolve around possessions, or do, does our life 
revolve around Christ and and how we love people to share Christ. Because when you start loving people and share Christ, other things don't really matter. You know, extracurricular activities in our life, um, you know, uh, sports and things of that nature uh, kind of just goes out the window whenever Christ is first in our life. Because when Christ is first, others come after that. My life is later. My life is on the bottom because I'm putting my life in front of or behind other people. So I got Christ first, then my wife, then my kids, you know, then the world, then me. So me, I die to self. So because I'm dying to self, I'm, I'm putting others first. Do I do that perfectly? Absolutely not. I don't. In fact, I failed a lot on that. But one thing that I know that this, this these storms remind me of is that our life is but a vapor. And what we do with our life matters. So what are you going to do with your life? If you die today, what would people say about your life? Would they say that, yeah, that you're good, they were a good person and they did things and they loved their family and they worked hard and they loved their whatever sport they were, they, they were into? Or did, would they say, yeah, they were diehard Jesus loving people? He loved Jesus and he loved his family so much, but he, he shared Jesus everywhere he went. He, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. I mean, is that what we need to hear? Yes. That's what I want. I want my life to be identified with Jesus, not just me. I don't want people just to remember Will. I want them to remember Jesus. So things like this, when we can lose our life, when we have things where we can find time to minister to people in this in this tragedy, you know, share Jesus in the middle of the storm, that's what we need to do. So just some thoughts, some I was something I was pondering on. We got a three hour drive and um, I'm just sitting here listening to um, some really good sermons. Uh, I was listening to a podcast, uh, Purity for Life. It's uh, Pure Life Ministries podcast. Steve Gallagher, he puts it on, and it's excellent if you ever want to listen to it. It's, it's mainly a men's podcast because it deals with a lot of men uh, issues, but they also have uh, po- parts of their podcast for the ladies also. So if you want to, um, check it out. It's, uh, it's really good. It's uh, really good preaching, really good uh, topics and very convicting. So, but anyway, that's all I got. Please pray for our area. Please pray for our home. Uh, the people that's still there that, cause there's people in our neighborhood that stayed. Um, very few, we were going to be one of the maybe three or four, uh, houses in a neighborhood of probably, I would say 40 or 50 houses that was going to stay. So, but there's still some people staying. My friend Chad, they're part of our home fellowship. Um, is staying, him and Brett, his son, please keep them in prayer, his wife Tiffany, um, uh, they went to Ohio and flew there, her and her daughter, and all the rest of their kids kind of dispersed out to different areas, so please, they have six kids, uh, keep them in, keep them in prayer, Chad and Tiffany, keep them in prayer, so appreciate it, thank y'all, y'all, uh, y'all have a great afternoon, stay safe, and, uh, share Jesus with someone, God bless.